Hi, I'm Lewis Adams, and welcome to Local Chats. Since winning Triple J Unearthed at the age of 13 with her band Killing Heidi, Ella Hooper has gone from strength to strength, making top charting hits and presenting shows on both radio and TV. More recently, she's dropped a new solo track, To The Bone, with the promise of more to come. Hello, welcome to the show. Hello, thanks for having me. Let's start by talking about your new track, To The Bone. Um, I must confess that the moment I put it on for the first time, I immediately found myself nodding my head along to the opening bars, and it was pretty easy to dance to. Uh, what's the background for that song? Excellent. Well, you had the correct reaction. I wanted to make people dance, and I wanted to make people feel like they could just be a bit, you know, a bit silly and a bit fun and a bit sexy and sassy and... The idea behind the track is just embracing those things and um, I think it's because we've had such a long, boring, cold winter here in Melbourne. If this is my reaction against winter, <laughs> making a fun, you know, a cowbell-laden disco track. So it's an anti-winter song? Yeah, it's an anti-winter song, exactly. You've got some more music to come, is that right? Yeah, definitely. I am working in the studio every other night trying to finish off the next couple of tracks. I've got two completely done and mixed and mastered and maybe three more on the way. So it's either going to be an EP or a long EP or a short album, I reckon. Any hints as to what that will sound like? It's definitely got a retro flavour. Like um, I listen to a lot of Divinals and pretenders they're pretenders a little bit of blondie each track they're not all like to the bone some are a bit more guitar based and rocky and others are a little bit more um singer songwritery a little bit more acoustic even but they all have they're all pretty upbeat which is uh new for me that leads to my next question was i was going to ask how it compares to some of your previous solo stuff like new magic and like well i think new magic was a stepping stone and was really um the way forward you know i i feel really 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 happy with um venom and new magic even though it was like quite challenging quite personal stuff to put out there and i got it out of my system and then i was like you know what i want to do next i want to do something that people can get a little bit up- uplifted by or maybe have a little bit of a laugh and a little bit of a dance like it's still definitely authentic like it's still coming from the heart and it's not ironically cool or anything like that so still has my trademark um, you know, taking it seriously, but it just sounds a little bit more fun in general. What actually inspired you to, or should I say, who actually inspired you to go solo in the first place? Stevie Nicks. <laughs> Stevie Nicks was a big uh, influence on someone who had been in bands, been a fantastic woman in bands, but then also really, really, really made some solo bangers that I love. So I kind of thought if Stevie can do it, and and still be one of the coolest rock chicks ever, then I should definitely give it a go too. That sounds like a pretty good influence, I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, go for gold. Your career actually uh, started at a very young age. Um, you were only 13 when Killing Heidi began, and you've come a long way since then. How does your life now compare with what you thought it might be like during those early years? Oh my God, that's a good question. <laughs> I sometimes think, am I anywhere near what my youthful projections were? And I definitely think... I thought I would be a, like, acoustic guitar playing, singer-songwriter, dark folk artist or something, working in a cafe in Melbourne, maybe playing gigs on the weekend, maybe playing folk festivals. That is not what happened. <laughs> Completely different career t- trajectory um, occurred. But it's taught me so much that I wanted to learn anyway. It's taken me, you know, all around the world and back again. And I work with amazing people. I've made so many beautiful best friends through music. So... It probably worked out far better and far more enriching than just being like a, you know, a weekend warrior, cafe waitress, guitar swinger. It um, definitely sounds like your life is a bit more exciting. Yeah, I mean, I really I really had a thing for that, for that though. Like, I was like, oh, that would be so cool. I hope that happens. And sometimes I was even so silly when I was young and lucky enough to be so successful with Billy Party. But I was be like, mm, wasn't, this wasn't the plan, you know. <laughs> now I appreciate it. Don't worry. Now, uh, just last month, you were actually part of a Joni Mitchell tribute tour, both sides now. Now, is that right? Yeah. Looks like it was very much a once in a lifetime kind of event. How was it? It was. It was amazing. Um, we had incredible bands, incredible singers up there with me, some, some of Australia's best. So it was equal parts uh, inspiring, intimidating, 
scary and then rewarding. Um, but I actually loved it. And, you know, I had to learn a lot of lyrics for it because I love Joni Mitchell, but the songs that I wanted to play of hers just go on and on and on. So I did a lot of homework, spent a lot of time studying her songs and really learning them. So by the end of it, I felt like, you know, I had a little degree in Joni Mitchell and I was really, really proud of that. I wonder if you can get that accredited. Yeah, I would. that would be really good if it could be because I don't really have any actual tertiary education. You've been described more than once as a music junkie. What have you been listening to recently? Oh, yes, I love this question. There is such a wealth of artists that I am in love with at the moment that are releasing new music. One of them is a friend, but I'm not biased. I swear I would love her music even if she wasn't my friend. But it's Gina Rose Bruce from Melbourne and her songwriting is just amazing. Her voice is amazing. She's got two singles out now and an album coming soon. And I just can't stop with it. I just love it so much. What's next? Uh, do you have any tour plans for the new material? I'm going to cook some up, but I don't have them yet. So Hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have another single out and I'll do a bit of a touring run. Um, I'm focusing pretty hard on big sound and just seeing what happens there. And, you know, then I might take another another couple of weeks to set the trajectory for the rest of the year. Thank you for having a chat with me. Thanks so much. Good chat. And so glad you liked the new stuff. This episode was produced by me, Lewis Adams, with theme music by Goyen Davey. Find us on localchats.com.au or on Twitter or Facebook at Local Chats. <laughs>